Good morning, YouTube. Azrael the one here. Hey, listen, off top, I owe you guys an apology. Now, I said the video would be out on Friday. And while it is a technicality that I didn't specify what Friday it would be out on, I led you guys to believe that it would have came out this particular Friday. And I didn't put the video out for two reasons. Um, one, I had a lot of things going on with family that I needed to attend to. And number two, I really wasn't there there with the content quality that I wanted to produce. Hate me or love me, I always try to give you guys good content. And I feel remiss and not apologizing to you for it. And I would feel even worse if I gave you absolutely crap. Now, many of you guys who don't like me, you're going to say it's crap anyway. So fuck your opinion. I really don't care. But for those people who do watch my videos, who do like engage with my content, this apology is mainly for you. Now, as much as I enjoy, um, you know, sharpening the tools, trying to stay sharp. I don't get points for low hanging fruit. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there are two links in the box I want you to go check out. Um, watching those videos, they're 38 and 39 minutes respectively. So if you have the time to sit down or you're driving, and you're on a long ride, it'll be something worth listening to. So that's up to you. But I think you'll understand the context of this video better if you watch them. So if you haven't watched them, go watch them then come back to this video. Now, finally, I need to put out this disclaimer about aforementioned said low hanging fruit. This is not me making a personal attack upon you. I'm not going to invoke any of your personal issues that's been made publicly known to the world at large. And I'm not even going to go as far as to try to get into another debate with you. I think it's clearly obvious that I'm debating with someone who is intellectually my inferior. And while it's fun target practice, I don't quite earn points for it, nor do I get respect points for it, essentially points for it. So you can make whatever responses you're going to make to this video if you choose to at all. I'm not going to care. I will just point my finger and laugh at you because until now you have not provided me any cogent arguments and I don't think on this side of eternity you're going to do it so have at it but I wanted to get let's just dive right into the meat and potatoes of what's going on here now the thing is in my <laughs> if you want to call it a debate it was more like a verbal spanking with this guy I noticed that the reactions in which he had stimulated a different thought and while I can't base my entire opinion off the off of one person, there are many people like him that are in the cyber world in this, this corner of cyberspace we call YouTube. So I'm going to use him and a few others as a microcosm of what I think may be the problem with many of the young black men between the ages of 18 and well, 38. A lot of you dudes are emotional. And I don't mean emotional like you know, you might have a little passion and you're just overwhelmed with, with energy and so enthused. I mean like Carl Thomas emotional. Like you guys are Lifetime Network. Like your Hallmark Channel emotional. Like if I turned on the TV and turned on Logo, you guys would be on the screen with your male tears and Because you guys, y'all just get butt hurt. And one thing I'm going to come back to later in this video is addressing the women. How do y'all deal with dudes like this? But we'll get back to that later. I noticed that when you talk to these kinds of dudes, you always have these black men who claim to be down for the cause. They care about fighting the battle of white supremacy. They claim to fight all these major issues that affect the black community, which are really no issue at all. But when you challenge these people, what you come to find out is that the first thing they resort to do is they take female tactics. You get no pussy. Uh, you can't get a female. You, you, you a coon. You a sample. You a soft shoe. You a sellout. Shame in language. And it's not surprising because most of these dudes, if you ask them what their political beliefs are, most of them are progressive liberals. But that's another subject for another day. Many of these dudes want to produce the soap, want to be the next Tariq Nasheed, they want to be the next Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Stokely Carmichael, Dubois. 
They want to be these great leaders, the Huey Newton, if you will. And many of these dudes lack one, the brain capacity to be so, and number two, the wherewithal and drive to actually attempt it. But what strikes me as odd is that most of these dudes have no emotional control. Now, if you've watched the two videos that I've instructed you to go watch, what you'll notice is that my opponent, when presented with inductive reasoning, what he resorted to do was launch ad hominem attacks. Um, there was a lot of red herrings. There was false equivalencies, uh, appealing to emotions, appeal, arguing from incredulity, to name a few. And it's troubling because if this is the hope that black people have by asking these men to lead us, well then it's no wonder we're not going to get anywhere for another two or three generations. Now this is the point where I have to now address the black females on this. Black women, how do you end up fucking these losers? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. No, seriously, I'm curious. Because here it is, you're complaining about wanting a good man, a man who was strong in his stand, he'd take care of his business, he'd take care of his family and his kids. But you have a man who was weak, sissified, indecisive, bitchy, effeminate, and can't tell his asshole from his elbow. And yet, these are the dudes you fuck. Come on. Something's gotta give here. Now, by a large woman, if these are dudes you fucking, you kinda gotta blame his mother because she didn't put a daddy in his life. Because if he had a daddy, he might be a totally different man. But then you're fucking up your kids because you're procreating with this dude. Now, I'm not saying you gotta choose a dude like me because for as smart as I am, I got issues that are not even relevant to this video right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. But if you're picking dudes like this, how do you expect your children, your sons specifically, how do, how do they become men? How do your daughters know what a real man is? You have to understand something. And looking at the microcosm that is these men that I'm representing by an intangible size, or rather a very small sample size of men here in this corner of the cyber world, you have to wonder if these are the kind of men that you're choosing to procreate with, then you are ever much as guilty of sabotaging the race as the motherfuckers who are out here in the forefront. But I think I'll touch on that on its own separate video. <laughs> you see, when you deal with these kind of emotional, sissified, steamed up, milk toast Negroes, there can only be one outcome. It's a free win. It's a freebie. And you should never take any pride or joy in this. Because that man goes out to procreate. And of course, when people insert stupid into the gene pool and stupid easily propagates, it's very difficult to fight back stupid, except for you're going to end up contributing to stupid. And I really feel bad having to pick low-hanging fruit because I don't really gain anything. And it doesn't show people other than this is how you should not argue. But I'm, again, I'm assuming that you guys are on the same intellectual keel. Some, most of you are, and a few you aren't. But still, when you're dealing with this kind of dude, you can't help but notice there is a fundamental problem in the black community. And if there's this fundamental problem, the question then becomes, how do we solve it? Well, there's a myriad of solutions that have come out. I'm not gonna go through the, the rundown of the list at this point because that too is a subject for another video. And if you wanna see these kind of videos, you need to let me know in the comment section below. Be it as it may, how do we get there? Well, it starts, black women, of course, by you making better choices for your sons, for yourselves. But what about the dudes who are currently in this mire? Well, as the old anecdote goes, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And in order for these Negroes to stop being emotional, 
they're going to have to dig down and find some intestinal fortitude to step out of the emotional arena. They have to find some means, some measure, some quality about themselves that seeks after truth, however painful it is. And they must learn to deal with that truth. The first step, of course, in solving a problem is admitting you have one. And that's the thing I challenge most of you Negroes who fall into this category. And I'm not going to say any names. It's what I challenge you to do. You need to self-reflect. Because if you're claiming you're trying to better the black community, trying to better the black race, I can't see how you're going to do that if you're ever much as effeminate as the females you lay up with. I mean, it's no surprise to me that this woman fucks the white guy, the Asian, the Arab, the Native American, the Latino. And she walks all over you, but she's feminine and submissive to these men. It's no wonder. I gotta tell you something. For as much blame can be assigned to the black woman, the thing is, she doesn't have a man to respect. And until you become a man, you pretty much should get used to what's going on with you. And I want you to reflect as you think about these words on the two videos I showed you. Because in those two videos, while breaking down my opponent's argument was fairly easy, there was a bigger point I was trying to stress to you. Men who are emotional and not logical can't lead. And if you can't lead, how can you fix a community? How can you fix brokenness in a home? when you're not willing to set aside your personal feelings and do what must be done? How can you fix the brokenness of the community when it's easier for you to sit around and squabble like another hen in the hen house? How can you help unite a people when you yourself are not united within yourself? These are some things you have to answer. But until you can, Maybe you should reflect. But of course, as always, when you come to this channel looking for change and solutions, just remember that change starts with one. I'm out.